In the previous video, we talked about how to run or stop the process from control room. Now in this video, we'll talk about session logs in control room. So here you can see whenever we run any process, port generates a log for each and every st steps we have a log. So from where we can see the logs. So here you can see we have this process. So if I want to see the log of this process, I need to double click on this and you can see it will open one dialog box that is session log viewer. Second option to open this, if you are not able to open by double clicking on this, you can just right click on the specific process and click on view log and you will be able to view the logs of this process. This logs is basically used by developers, board controllers, it means RPA support person who is running this board or who is checking what is the error if that is terminated so the board controller the rpa developer can go and check what is the issue and based on that you uh, that developer can fix that issue in the process if that is completed here so we can open and see if this is really completed or there is an error so here we can see the logs now i'm going to tell you something different here if I'm going to open this completed one, right click and click on view log. Here you can see we have five columns that is showing by default here whenever you will open this view, this logs. And it has stage name, stage type, result, resource start and parameters. A stage name means whatever stages we are using in our process. So these are the name of that stage and this is the stage type. So this is the start and exception type of stage, action stage, decision stage and the name of that stage that we use in our process. And this is the result. If we are using decision, so based on the true condition we will be getting the result here. If it is false, we will be getting false here against that one. If any error, it will give you the error here. And then it will also show you the resource start time. So it will update here, if we will start from here, start 450, 11, 6, 450, 53, now end, then start. So it will start one by one from one main page and then it will go to the sub page. So by that will it, it will start from the main page. So one start, it will go to the another sub page. So again it will come through the start, so it will cover that. So it will log each and every steps and based on that it will help you to understand the exception and understand the logs. Now here you can see we have few options file and view. In the file menu if you click on this we have three options export current page logs, export entire logs and close. So current page means if you want to export the complete the first page of logs you can click on this file and export. So it will just export first page. If you click on export entire log, it will export all the pages like 1, 2, 3, whatever pages you have. Now, let me just show you how to export that. So, let me export this one. And then here we have three options, CSV file, TXT, text file and ST1 file. Let me choose CSV, click on browse, select the location. And the default name of this is BPA partial session log dot CSV. Full form of BPA is business process automation. And full form of RPA is robotics process automation. Now you can click on save. And then you can see this is the location where this file will be exported. Now click on next and then it will complete and click on finish. Now go to the desktop here. And you can see here now we have this logs available in the Excel. You can see here same way we have this here stage name, stage type, result, resource, direction, name, type and value. Close this. Now here we have another menu that is view. You can click on refresh. It will refresh this session log viewer. 
here we have a grid view and list view so there are two types of grid view means it will show you like this in the grid row and columns now if you we'll take list view so you it will just show you in the list one by one one after another okay so in this you can understand here if you'll we'll, uh, view this log based on the list view and then you can see on this time it has started undefined stage result created session log first time it will create a session log and then it is going to the start process this process on the main page and then this process launch and login page so by this way we have one start two start because first on the main page second on the launch and login page now end so it has completed launch and login part and then it is going to again process start process to the go to orders menu so you can understand by this way and then we are getting error after reading get excel while reading get excel as a collection and based on this you can fix this issue or you can do the right action if we'll click on grid view and then here we have two options now if we'll go with the list view then we have just one that is so all columns if you we'll click on this here it will give you the count like how many columns we have so log number one log number two three four five so based on that it is just giving you the number of that logs now just click grid view and then here we have other option that is columns now in the columns that i uh, you know i shown you that is by default we have five to six columns stage name type result resource start and parameters you can also go with all the columns you can see here now now we have all the columns just maximize this and you can see here this is the serial number of that log it means log number one two three four five six and this is the stage id so this is the session started and then this is the stage id stage name stage type and then which process so process name then page name then object name and then action name and then result you can see here everything is captured in this log in details you just need to understand one by one like in what process in what page on what object in what action you are getting this error uncheck if you don't need anything so if you don't need a stage id you can uncheck this if you don't need this target memory or target app id you can just uncheck this and you can view this there is a parameters here this parameters will show you whenever you are taking any input or output you are using input output parameters in your process you will be getting that input output parameters let me do one thing so let me open here that process centrix data solutions and in the get excel as a collection let me change the file name uh, that was sample sample.csv let me find out we have the same file file available or not c drive and then downloads then programs we have orders uh, orders underscore sample or csv now click ok and now let me do one thing let me save this and this is already published because we have changed the process so by default that will change our process in the control room also drag and drop to the uh, source and now click on start selected So you can see here currently it seems like there is one error issue here that's why it is not able to type one and it's not able to click on go so just click on this and now you can see here what is the error error is no worksheet was found with the name orders underscore export so you can also view this log and you can understand what is the error so error is 
on the get excel as collection we are getting this error it means box it not found so now you can go and find out what is the excel seat name and you can fix this issue so this is the purpose of logs session logs other things that i can show you here in the session logs just double click on this uh, let me open the uh, third one this one so here we have this logs now you are getting the specific error in your email or somewhere and you want to find that a specific error a specific action in your logs you want to just find out the place where the that error is there so how can you find that so there is one other option that is search here you can click on search and this is the very useful option which will help you to find out the specific text stage name or any exceptions here here we have a find option if you want to search any exception let's say i want to search retry limit reached so i will just write here retry limit and you can just click find next and you can see here we have color highlighted color so we are getting this that we are getting error on the first page of this log and we are getting here you can also find out based on your like you want to just find out this specific word in your process page in your result in your stage name you can find out that also here we have search options you can clear all you can uncheck this and if you want to find any specific one you can uncheck like this and if you want to just find on the stage name so you will write here i want to search like open workbook like that and you can now search here and you can see we are getting open workbook here on the stage name okay and here we have other options to find it will help you in finding that text huge wildcards if you want to write here like a star and then find so it will give you this one if this is this page this word this text is available on multiple pages also then you can click on find next find next and it, it will give you all the highlighted text it will automatically it will go to the next page also if it is there on the next page and uh, if you want to just find the whole word you, you don't want to only check only uh, open workbook you want to just find out open work only so you can go with match whole word and that if it is there then it will give you otherwise it will show you that this term is not available right so this is the use of session logs i hope you will like it in the next video we'll discuss about scheduler